What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how to successfully pass a click ID from your landing page to the affiliate offer if you have an opt-in form. So in one of my previous videos, I showed you how to do this if you have a simple landing page where you just click a button without putting in any details and you get taken to your thank you page, then to your affiliate offer, and you pass that click ID through for post back URL purposes. In this video, I want to show you how to pass the click ID if you do have that opt-in form, okay? So I will be using GetResponse, ClickMagic, and ClickFunnels, but as I show you this, the main concept here is to get the idea for what you should be doing. So if you're using Aweber as opposed to GetResponse, just understand what you have to do. For example, you have to go into Forms, you have to edit this URL, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So, um, here is this page that we worked on last time. This is our landing page, okay? So we've added this S1 equals click ID. If you wanna see that video, I'll put it up above. It, assuming you just had a landing page, it shows you how to pass through that click ID. And here's the page. But in this case, we have an email form. And with an email form, it's a bit more complicated because we have an integration here, a third-party integration with, an integration with a third-party tool, which in this case is GetResponse. And that does not allow you to pass through a click ID if you simply put in your URL, you know, on submit go to. That will not pass the click ID because of this third party integration. So we have to go into this third party integration tool. In my case, it's going to be GetResponse. And we have to edit the URL that we want to put in there. Okay. So uh, let's go into the forms here. So our goal right now is to go into our third party autoresponder provider and to find a place where we can create a form okay because basically what we want to do is we want to build put a custom form so on click funnels you can go into integrations you can go into you know it says select integration and you can select the integration that you've integrated so it could be aweber mailchimp get response but what we have to do is we have to add an, a form so we have to create this form we have to build it and that's what we're going to do in this case in get response so i'm going to go into forms and surveys and i'm going to click on create form and i'm going to click on plain html okay so here is a basic html form that get response provide us which collects emails as you can see here so all this code we'll give this to you okay now we're not going to put this anywhere on the page we're going to put this specifically in that integration spot but first we have to make a few changes here on the right hand side right there okay so let's say i have this three week diet campaign so first off what i want to do is check mark this button here add cycle okay because what's going to happen if you don't is users will uh, put their email in um, and the click ID will be passed through, but they will not actually receive emails. So it is crucial that if you're doing this, you select add to cycle and say day zero, right? Or whatever day you want them to start off on. Then you want to say custom thank you page URL. And this is where that magic happens as we pass that click ID through. So let's suppose right after this opt-in form, I'm taking people to the affiliate offer. Well, then what I would do is I would simply put in, so here's our ClickBank product, I would simply put in either this link here, or as I mentioned, if we have a tracking pixel, I would put this in and I would say, you know, slash S1 in square brackets. Again, if you're unsure about what that is, I highly recommend you check out the previous video I made. Again, the link is up above, um, but that will help you understand this part. So uh, you can either use this, if you don't want to track this link or if you do want to track conversions to see how many people land on this affiliate offer after going through and signing up you would want to put you use this tracking link and say s1 at the end okay or if you're taking people to a thank you page you would do the same thing here's our thank you page url and here as you can see we added that now if we don't want to track this page we can just use this if we have a pixel on the page maybe but if we don't you want to put this url with the S1 at the end. So let's assume we're taking people straight to the affiliate offer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go here and let's suppose we do want to track this. Uh, so, so I'm going to select that link and I'm gonna put that there and I'm going to say S1, okay? 
So now that, that click ID will be passed through, and we're going to experiment, and I will show you that it is successfully passed through. And as you can see, it gets added right there, okay? There's where the magic happens of passing through a click ID with an opt-in form. So after that, you can put in additional information. So um, if on ClickFunnels here, I only have an email. So I don't have to put much. I can just select, you know, or e e email is already there. But if I have a spot for a name, for a first name, maybe, or a last name, or, you know, birth date, country, state, you would check mark all these, okay? So you would check mark all of them. And then on ClickFunnels, there will be an area where you can connect the dots and you can make these options available so that when someone signs in, that data is available to you uh, based on whatever the customer put in. So this is basically it. Let's leave it like this. Let's say we just have an email form, you know, if we have a name again, we're just going to put that there and, you know, that field is called name. Um, but in this case, we don't. So what I'm going to do now, now that I've done that, I'm going to copy this whole thing or I can just click copy code uh, or maybe I need. OK, so so I'm just going to copy it manually. Doesn't matter how you do it, just copy it. Um, and let's go back into ClickFunnels here. And now let's put the code in here. So. Whenever you make any changes, you must click parse and save web form. So I've done that. Everything is good. And now, as you can see, it gives us this email field because that is what we put in into here. OK, and that is what is available here as well. So we can sync it. OK, so we have to make sure that this email field here corresponds with this email field there. OK, so if you had a name, it would be name, et cetera, et cetera. You would see more options available. So if I check mark name, you would see that option here. Just select name from the drop down. Integrate them. Make sure the values match, OK? Because whatever value on ClickFunnels is, if it's email, it has to be email and get response. So if it's an email, it can't be registered in the name field and get response. See, so that's why you're doing it like this. And then over here, what it does is I believe it automatically, no. So over here, we have to update and make sure that this URL is there as well. So we're just going to copy that part there. I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to put that here. Um, you can click save and uh, parse and save web form and that is it. Okay. So now our click ID should be passed through successfully. Um, so integrations, as you can see, there's a little check mark there. And when you go to general, make sure it says on submit, go to nothing. Make sure nothing is there because we've already done that here. Okay. So right now we're taking people, I think uh, it was the affiliate offer. So before we test this, two more things you do have to make sure are set. One is for your button, make sure it says submit form. Don't take them to a website URL. Don't, you know, go to the next step and funnel. Just say submit order form because we already have everything integrated here. Okay. So we have the URL in this, in this form. The other thing is after you go down and you change this to email, uh, don't click save and uh, parse and save web form because that's just going to unsync it again. So after you click parse and save web form, after you put in that code, uh, just input the email and that is it. Just get out of there and just click save, okay? Don't uh, save and parse web form every time after you make every change. So now it's there, okay? So now that we've done that, let's just go ahead and uh, test it out and see if that click ID is passed through successfully. So I'm gonna grab that link. Let's paste it here. So there's that click ID. So we need to make sure that 0443 gets passed through successfully all the way to that affiliate offer. So here's my email. Let's let's use that. 0443. Okay. That's what we want passed on to our piano for all affiliate offer. So the, the click ID isn't in the URL bar, but that is why I'm using the school Chrome extension called redirect path. Uh, and we just have to make sure that that click ID is passed. And as you can see here, it's right there, 0443. It's passed in that uh, S1 square bracket sub ID. Now we have to make sure that it's stored in the TID parameter and we see it right there because ClickBank stores their click ID in the TID parameter. So that's there. And if we watch here, it is there as well. So from here on, you are done. That is all you have to do. Okay. We have successfully passed it through. Now the concept and the idea is exactly the same, whether you are uh, taking people from landing page to affiliate offer or from landing page to thank you page. The idea is the same. You would just edit your form. So if I were taking people to my thank you page form instead, I would either use, again, this URL if I don't want to track it, which in this case I don't need to because I have a pixel on that page. Or if I use this, I would just go in and I would add that there instead. And again, I would say, you know, S1 like that. Okay. I'm just going to 
delete everything, keep everything as, as, as it was for now. But that's basically what you would do. You would put in that URL and then it would take you to that thank you page. And that uh, S1 or um, that uh, click ID will be stored in that S1 parameter, will, will be passed on to your thank you page. And then from the thank you page, you would pass on that click ID onwards to the affiliate offer the same way we did in my previous video on this topic. It would just be the same because now that you've already filled in the contact details, uh, that is kind of where the difference is. Everything else is the same, okay? So that's what I wanted to show you. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, as you saw, the click ID did pass through successfully. Uh, and if I refresh my stats, you see all the, um, uh, all the unique clicks and stuff there. I removed the tracking pixel. Um, from here, which is why you don't see that action. Uh, but that's basically what you would do. That's how you would pass a click ID from a uh, landing page to affiliate offer if you have uh, a, a, an opt-in form. Uh, I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them down below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, reviews, strategies, etc., etc. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.